Hi, it's Pam and I'm back again with another video for you. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding a dual tray printer extension onto my regular printer. In simpler terms, I'm just going to be adding an extra tray to my brother printer. So let's get started because the evening is upon us. Let's go. So I wanted to come on and give you an update. This is my old printer. It was a Canon and I've had it about three years. It's an inkjet and it went out. So I don't know what happened. It just a couple of pieces broke off and it just went out and it put me down. So I ended up ordering another printer and this is the one I got. It's a HL L6200DW Brother Business Laser Printer. So I've taken it out of the box and then it came with the manual and the cord. And so what I'm going to do is take all of this plastic off. And then we can see what we got. So this is the printer. It's the Brothers HL-L6200DW printer. And this is what it's looking like. It's very fast. It prints very quick. It's a laser jet printer. This is the extra tray. So that's what the tray, the original tray is on. And so we're gonna add the extra tray. So hey you all, this is the extra tray that I'm going to be adding to the brother printer is the LT6500 lower tray from brother. This is the back. Looks like this is the front. And so this is what the inside is looking like. And once you turn it on, 
it actually automatically registers the new tray with the system. So yeah, all I need to do is add paper and I'm ready to go. So yeah, guys, that was pretty simple, easy peasy, no problem. I really thought it was going to be more to do, but once the system registered that it actually had another tray attached, it was no problem. Easy peasy. So this is my outfit for today. I have on a Coles top. I got me some leggings from Old Navy. And then I have on my Under Armour shoes that I picked up from Coles. So, yeah. That's my outfit for today. So, yes, guys. This is what's for dinner tonight. I'm having the Burger King Impossible Burger. No cheese. And some apple slices. And that's what I'm going to be having for dinner. So this is what's for dinner. When I tell you the Impossible Burger tastes like the Whopper. It does whenever I go that way. I always grab the Impossible Burger. I have made it my go-to when I'm out and about. So yes. Let's get into this. So, thanks guys for watching. That's all I have for you on this video. So, thanks for watching. Thumbs it up. Bye.